So, Crystal Palace zero, Arsenal one. Uh, get out of jail card has been used. Martin Odegaard penalty uh, on another day, it don't get given because of a Thomas Party infringement. On another day, Tommy Asu doesn't get sent off because that was ridiculous. Oh. And what is even more ridiculous, Jez, is the fact that VAR can't override a yellow card. Yeah, good one. Um, Eze on another day gets a penalty. Odson Edouard heads in, but also on another day, Eddie and Katia scores a brace. Uh, Jez, for anyone who ain't watched your fan cam, um, give us your breakdown. Before you do that, make sure you subscribe to Arsenal History and more. The link will be in the title, people. But give us your breakdown of um, that weird game, because it was weird. Give us your breakdown, mate. Well, it was very weirdly. Um, I, I don't like this tinkering, messing about with uh, what we had last season. We had a winning lineup. I just don't understand what's going on. I, I'm going to say it. This is just down to pure Arteta arrogance. He thinks he's better than he is. He likes to mix it up in all the wrong ways. Last season, I said, you need to mix it up at some point in the game. Uh, not at the start of the game, man. You know, party right back. No, doesn't work. He's shoehorning Havertz into that team because I honestly will have to say to you, he has to. I swear to God, there's something in that guy's contract that says he's got to play a certain amount of games or match hours. It was with Louise and it was with William. And I know that fact. I know that is absolutely Same with Jacker and Bella in me. So the fact is, he's pontificating with the team. And it's going to cost us, Lee. I'm sorry. We got away with it at Forest. We got away with it at Palace. No disrespect to Forest or Palace, but they're not the best, right? When we come up against the big boys, Man City, um, and I'll, I'll put it, Chelsea aren't great at the moment, but they'll get better. They'll get better. Man United, not great at the moment. I think we'll beat them in our next game. But we can't afford to do this, Lee. We can't afford to do it because Havertz, I'm sorry, is absolutely pony in trap. Um, not good enough. Why the hell we ever got him? The reason I think Arteta's playing is because, um, as you quite rightly said, he's our third biggest signing monetary-wise, and we got to shoehorn him in. Absolute bloody nonsense. I'm fed up, Lee, with us buying these third-hand Chelsea players. We're doing it for far too long. It's rubbish. Go out, Arteta, and buy... Ivan Tony from Brentford now buy him on the cheap and get ready for play him in January because as uh, you said Lee he can start training 17th I think 17th of September yeah go and get him go and get that man go and get him get him into the team we need an out and out striker we ain't got one Eddie second Kane. best striker in the league Jez now Harry Kane's yeah. gone yes Eddie and Ketia today fair play he had a good game I, I won't i'm not going to knock him for that but <clears throat> trying to chip the keeper from five yards i like it but mate you ain't thierry Henry. um thierry Henry used to do that but he had the skill he had the touch bird camp did it on a couple of occasions but i'm sorry guys that they, they were levels levels above this guy and um, yeah, unlucky for Nketiah. He hit the post. Fair play. But no, 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 no. Arteta, you are back to arrogant prick status for me. Sorry. Haven't said it for a very, very long time. But you're back there. Yeah, facts. Um, listen, if you don't like the ratings, cry. We don't care. We'll be back on Saturday uh, when we play Fulham. Uh, make sure you are subbing to Jez's channel, Arsenal History and More. Uh, sub to me. Sub to Lee reacts as well. Uh, but let's go. Um, Aaron Ramsdale. 
Uh, he got the the number one shirt today when we signed David Raya. A lot of people raised an eyebrow. Probably shouldn't because we know this manager's spineless. Um, but what did you make of him? Kept a clean sheet. Uh, mm. Made a little bit of um, an impact. Weren't, weren't really tested, if we're being completely honest, Jez. But passing out was okay, decent. Clean sheet as well. Got to give him a bit of credit, right? Yeah, I actually wanted David Raya to start today. Um, I said it last night on a, a TJ show. I'd like to see him give him a go. We bought him. Come on, give the guy a chance. Uh, to me, Ramsdale, I'll give him a seven. Didn't do anything wrong. Um, didn't get tested, as you say, but he was solid. Fair play. And I, yeah, seven for me uh, all day long. Sorry about that, mate. Uh, right. Let's continue. Uh, let's go to Thomas Party at right back. Mm. Um, again, clean sheet settings. <laughs> yeah. But playing in an unnatural position for the second game in a row. He's done it before for Atleti. But a little bit sticky situation. I actually thought he played all right. I can't lie. He did. But I don't like it, Lee. I don't like it. We've got Ben White. Who's proved himself there. And this is what frustrates me so much with Arteta. Why mess with something that's not broken? He overcomplicates things. Why do that when football is such an easy bloody game? If you've got a player that can play in that position, play him. We know Partey is the best player in our midfield. Right? Play him. But side apart, I'll give him a seven. But I thought he did all right. Fair play to him. Uh, let's go to the opposite side. Tommy Asu. Um, again, clean sheet. Um, wrongly sent off. Yeah. Barely. Well, he didn't even touch Ayu. Yeah. yeah. Then 40 seconds later, Havertz is like this on Ayu, not even a yellow. Like, yeah. make it make sense. We're not ones to blame referees. Yeah. But that was just scandalous. Um, what did you make of his overall performance today? Tommy Asu gave us gave us a show. Um, I don't think he did too much wrong. That second yellow was absolutely nonsensical um, for what he did. It was, it, it, I mean, he wasn't even the last man, for God's sake. Didn't you even know? touch him, Jez. <laughs> no, it's like, come on, man. I've seen worse shirt pulls in the 18-yard box at corners, which should have been penalties when people have been body-checked, right, and nothing happens. I mean, come on, man. No, that's bullshit. I'll give him a six. Yeah, fair play to him. Uh, let's go to Benjamin White, uh, playing at right centre-back. Um, listen, it was a comfortable night overall because they were very poor, but... Right. Clean sheet settings. We'd rather see him at right back, as everyone knows. But what did you make of his performance at centre back tonight? I thought he did all right, and I liked in the second half he was getting forward more because um, I don't think at centre back you get that opportunity too often. And I don't know if there was a tactical change at half time that <clears throat> Partey and him were switching, but he was getting a lot. Full, far forward, overlapping in that second half. So I'll, I'll give him a seven. I thought he did all right. Uh, let's go to his partner in crime, William Saliba. Um, yeah, I'm not kind of comfortable with him playing at right back uh, mm -hmm. or right, uh, sorry, left centre back. Sorry. Yeah. I'd much rather him at right centre back. He looks a lot more comfortable. Yeah. But I thought he grew into the game. What did you make of him? Yeah, I, I, and this is my point, Lee. I don't see the point of messing about with your defence. The defence is the defence. It's your last line of... It's the wall, right? It's the wall. You get past there, then you're in trouble. And Arteta's continually messing about with it. Don't like it, man. Um, but Sleeper, to me, in the wrong position, again... Um, I'll give him a seven. Uh, let's go to midfield. Um, 
let's go Martin Odegaard because mm. Martin Odegaard's captain. Yeah. He's not playing in his natural position. He was playing more on the right side. He was actually higher up than Bukayo Saka at times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he scored the penalty. Yeah, big balls to take the penalty. Fair play to him. Yeah, but at the same time, it wasn't his best game ever. But, but, captain settings, captain leader, legend, and all of that stuff. He stepped up, he put the penalty away, and we won the game 1-0 off the back of his penalty. What did you make of him? Oh, it was a great penalty. Let's get it right. Mm. Um, totally put the keeper the wrong way. Slotted it, bottom corner, liked it. And for once, um, he turned up. I know he turns up against respect Crystal Palace the lesser teams but he did all right um he's not my man in the match league and i know you, you might disagree with that no but, i actually i actually gave him man of the match on my watch along i thought he was class yeah fair play fair play um i thought he was good he he showed captain material tonight and i hope he shows shows that for the rest of the season i'll give him an eight because i actually think he was class but he's not my man of the match no, I thought I thought it was good. No, like listen, he always turns up against the lower down the table teams, but away from home, this mm. is the kind of game on a Monday night under the lights. Yeah, he shrivels, he shrinks, he gets bullied, and up against a team that have got you know big physical lads in midfield. I actually thought he stood up to the test. Uh, let's go to your favourite player, uh, Kai Havertz. <laughs> Absolute rubbish. Played 97 minutes. What do we know? Look, I, I look, I've said I'll put it out there. I on I do honestly believe somewhere in there there is a player. I don't think that player is now the levels of Arsenal. <laughs> um I'll give Mate, him he five. Went the levels of Chelsea, Jez. He's living off the back of one goal. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give him five games. And if he doesn't improve in those five games, then well, he's you... had three Jez. Community Shield and two well, league games. Premier League games. I'm going five okay, fair enough, Premier fair League enough. games, right? No, you are fair. Okay. That 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 is where it counts. I'm not going to com 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 compare it with the community shield, the charity, that's the charity cup. Um pre-season, no. I'll give him five. Premier League games, and he's he's going to be up against Fulham. He's going to be up against United. Um, Man United, I think. Everton, Everton away. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a tough outing. Um, so if he don't turn up in any of them games, right? Sorry, mate, you're done. Because Arteta is shoehorning him in to this team for some reason. And I've said to you, Lee, I've said it publicly. I think it's in his contract that he's got to play a certain amount of match hours or whatever it is. I know for a fact it was with Louise and William. They had that in their contracts. And whoever dealt with those contracts is a complete arsewipe. Because yep. if you come into a team, right, and you're buying that player, right, and that agent or whoever or player says, well, I want to play this amount of time. I'd say, no, fuck off, mate. Yeah, jog we, on. This is we, the Arsenal. We, we determine what you're going to do, not you mm. to determine. Especially if you're by Havertz or William or David Lewis and you're coming from Chelsea where you're out of favour. Mm. You're in no bartering position. Yeah. Even if you're, you're in the your powers... Yeah, if you're in the peak of your powers, like Mesut Ozil when we signed him, cool, you can have that in your contract. Yeah. yeah. Alexis Sanchez, okay, cool, you weren't necessarily at the peak because you was on the bench here and there at Barca, but you could you can kind of understand. When we're talking about these little men, bruv, anyway, let's move. Let's anyway, move. I didn't give him a rating. Him a rating. Um, hang on, I've got it written down here. Three. <laughs> I, 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 that's 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 well, I would have given him a one, but anyway, uh, it's your play range. Declan Rice. Um, I actually think Declan Rice 
from what I was told in my chat, I may be wrong. I think Declan Rice did get man of the match, right? You did. Sky. Yeah. Sky. Declan Rice. Yeah. My man of the match. I thought he was class tonight. Absolute class. Um, and I, 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 I can see why we paid £105 million for him. I thought, he, without shadow of the doubt, best man in midfield. I'll give him a nine. Lee, I'll give him a nine. I thought he'd absolutely brilliant tonight. And I and I'm so happy that I'm seeing what we've bought for 100 and 105 million pounds. Now imagine him next to Thomas Party as a double. Oh, yeah. wow. wrong. Why play party at right back when you paid 105 million pounds, right? Wasted 65 million pounds on Havertz so far, in my opinion, right? Oh man, I mean, can you imagine them as, as a oh come on double pivot with that anyway? We'll go oh. there another day. We'll do Jeez. that on the podcast on Monday. Uh, let's go to Gabriel Martinelli missed an absolute glorious chance in the first yeah. three, four minutes. He yeah. should have slapped it with his left foot. He did, tried yeah. to be cute with it and come inside. Um, yeah. runs around a lot, tries a lot, was the reason we got the penalty. Quick free kick to Eddie. Yeah, Eddie switched on, boom, but then got the ump when he got subbed. And I make him right as well because he shouldn't have been subbed because he is a problem. But what did you make of his performance? Yeah, I, 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 I love Martinelli. I think he's got absolute class and he's going to get better and better and better. Um, he's a naughty, naughty little player. And I love that. That's what I like. I like tricky little naughty players. Um, and yeah, but it wasn't a great performance tonight. I'll give him a five. Yeah, I'll make you right on that. He went great. Uh, let's go to the opposite side. But Kyle Saka was actually subbed, Jez. Can you believe it? Would you believe it? Yeah, yeah, wow, really? Who'd know it? Um, Saka, not the greatest game lead tonight, I think. Um, a little bit out of it at times. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I've seen people say, <laughs> "Dear God, he's tired." Jesus Christ! It's the second game of the season. <laughs> like, like, come on, man! He's a professional footballer at, at the age of at the age he is. Um, yeah, I didn't really. He didn't impress me tonight. Um, I'll, I'll give him a five. Uh, Eddie and Ketia won the penalty. Yeah, uh, missed two absolute sitters, hit the post. If he hadn't have fallen off balance on the first one, he probably scores. Yeah. But the second one, shamponic. Yeah. Uh, runs around a lot, tries hard, yeah. out ball, and then gets subbed. What did you make of him? Yeah. Enketia. Um, I'm sorry, mate. You you give it a, the big large, but you're just not the levels for Arsenal Football Club. You tried to do the little tricky uh, five-yard out chip and put it five yards over the bar. Um, you're not Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry would have slotted that. You're not that sort of level, mate. Um, no, not having that. Um, no. Everybody thinks I hate this guy. I don't hate him. I never met him. Don't know him. I just don't think he's good enough, Lee. Sorry. He's not good enough this football club. And um, I'll give I'll give him a five. Uh, let's go to subs. Um, let's go. Gabriel Magalash came on, did his job. Nothing special. Um, five. Uh, let's go, Kivio. Kivio came on. Didn't really notice him, to be honest. Um, well. I'll give him. I'll give him a bang average five. Uh, Jorginho, awful, boring, uh, four. And last but by no means least, the virtue signaling politician Alexander Zinchenko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this guy, I've got no time for him. Um, I really haven't. I think he's bloody shit. And um, yeah, four. Terrible. 
you know how this works people if you disagree with the ratings we don't care we're back on saturday uh we're going to do a three two one countdown for the manager uh leave your comments your ratings down below uh three two one five two. oh two i'll tell you why <laughs> tell I'll me tell why. bloody awful setup right i'm fed up of seeing this tinkering of the team no need to go back to what you know is best right don't overcomplicate the game because we know the players where they can play we've got the players where they can play and you are arteta back to prick settings because you're just making an absolute nonsensical balls up of this it was a boring game against palace tonight it was a boring game against nottingham forest you're just messing about with things that you don't need to do just play your team that you know is the best we can all see it we know where these players should play don't keep trying to shoehorn habits in because after five games you all know he's crap he can't perform you don't have to keep playing and Ketia, you've got. I, I said the other day, Lee, I would go with a two, one, three, four. Yeah, mix it up, play something different. But no, he keeps piss arsing around. Hey, we all know our best 11. Yeah, I know. Dexter, my Bryce and Thomas party, Odegaard in front, the back four is the back four. Yeah, mm -hmm. change the left back, right back, goalkeeper, whatever. But that centre-back pairing is the centre-back pairing. Declan Rice and party with Odegaard, then the front three. And if Jesus is out, you put Trossard in. Yes. That's, that's it. Exactly. It's simple, man. Come on. I am no tactician. I've never claimed myself to be a tactician, right? But I would go at this point in time, Martinelli, Saka up front, Trossard behind, um uh rice Udegaard, parte white saliva gabriel tierney it's simple yeah got the team there that is a killer team it's a killer right yeah, facts they know it yeah absolute facts listen leave your ratings down below we are going to wrap this up people make sure you sub to jez's channel arsenal history and more uh jez what you got coming up mate uh, I'm going to do a match reaction tomorrow. Um, and then Wednesday night, 6 o'clock p.m., I've got uh, – I'm on with you and, you and Lee on my channel. Uh, you sorry, and you, and, you and Kenny. Jez. Thank you, Paul. Me and Jez. Me and Kenny. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Um, I did ask – How many drinks we had, mate? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I did, ask, I did ask Diesel to join. He might, de he might be joining us. Uh, I did ask Northside. He can't make it because it's his uncle's birthday. But uh, Diesel might join us. He might. I don't know yet. Yeah, happy days. I right, Listen, we're out of here, people. I'll be back again at half past two UK time with Rants on here. Uh, upload on the second channel as well. And then I'm live with Terry Flewers on the football terrace with the most inverted backwards bent, upside down inverted hybrid chat you will ever see in your life. So make sure you come and show some love. Uh, until then, adios amigos. We're out. Laters. Arteta, get out.